What's up guys, welcome to my next DIY bike project. I'm Jonas and today I'm gonna hack my helmet. So come with me. Okay, so I'm a guy that tends to sweat a lot when I'm riding and since I don't have any hair, this tends to pour down a lot of sweat into my eyes, dripping onto my glasses and it both makes it very uncomfortable and it, it makes it a little bit dangerous when the, when the sights in the, in, through the glasses is, uh, is affected. So I decided to do something about this. I uh, of course checked out a couple of forums online and I found some solutions amongst them to use a bandana. When it comes to bandana for my sake, I think it gets quite warm. Also using one of those bicycle caps or a casquette. It also gets very warm and it gets closed in and I don't like that. I like to feel the wind in my hair or on my head. So I also found some solutions suggesting like the uh, Oakley DRT5 that has sort of a, a rubber sealing on the inside of the helmet to protect your eyes from the sweat. Now the DRT5 is a mountain bike helmet and I mostly ride road bikes so yeah it doesn't work out for me. And I like to do things DIY style. So let's find a solution. Now when you study the Oakley DRT5 helmet you can notice that it has like a rubber ceiling in the front that is supposed to avoid getting sweat into your eyes. I simply picked up some window ceiling to try if I can hack this myself. So let's go. Okay so let's get going. What we're gonna do now is simply to remove this original padding inside the helmet. Take that one away and we're gonna put the new window ceiling on the inside of this helmet here. You want to get it really tight because any gaps or anything like that will make the, the sweat slip through. I actually made a test with this one. This one is more like foam and it's sort of when it got soaked with sweat it started to to let some sweat through so this one was not a hit. Avoid this one. So I simply uh, got this one instead. This have like an E shaped. I don't think I don't know if you can have see the E profile on this one but it's made out of rubber so this one is hopefully a lot more resistant against the uh, the sweat. It's supposed to be used singly but this one is double so I keep it this way just to get maximum effect of, of this one because I will probably need that. So measure this one out. It's a piece that is about 25 centimeters that fits good into the helmet. So I will simply remove this adhesive uh, protection tape here from the from this adhesive strip and I will put it inside the helmet like this. And as I said, make it nice and tight. Don't stretch it too much. Make sure that you get it to seal all the way around like this. Now I kept one of the one of those adhesive strips left. If this is successful, I will remove that one as well to get a really good tight sealing here. But that's pretty much it. Okay, so let's try it out. Okay, feels really good actually. It's uh, I can really feel the ceiling and the rubber against my uh, my against my skin and the forehead all the way back to about here to the ears. So I think this is gonna work really great. But we're not just gonna try it in the garage. Let's get some cycling clothes on and hit the road and try it out in real life. Okay, so I'm uh, dressed in biking clothes and it's time to get out and try this hack. It's been one of the warmest days so far this summer and even though it's 8.15 in the evening, you can see that it's still very warm outside, 28.2 degrees centigrade. So it probably won't be any problems to get the sweats going. So let's head out. Okay, so this test, I will be out riding hard for about 30, 35 minutes. And I've got some quite steep uphill riding to do, so it probably won't be any problems to, uh, to get the sweat going. Now, as I said earlier, this has been one of the warmest days so far, and it's still very warm outside, so yeah, let's, uh, let's do this. Wow, that is a huge difference actually, especially in terms of not getting sweat into my eyes. When it comes to drips on the glasses, I don't know if it's 
possible to see it's mostly on the inside it's still dripping but it's definitely better and i don't think i've gotten any sweat in my eyes so far so in terms of sweat in my eyes jackpot sweat on the glasses well halfway there better than nothing but it's not perfect another advantage with this is that if you have textile padding in your helmet you will end up with a with a very wet padding and that tends to be quite frustrating if you're riding multiple times in a day or putting a wet helmet on is simply not very nice at least not in the beginning okay so i'm back from my ride and uh, as you can see the, uh, the ceiling leaves a bit of a, a mark on my forehead so that is something that i'm gonna have to live with but as i said the results i'm actually surprised that they were that good now in terms of success and failure when it comes to doing this it all depends on what kind of helmet you're using and how it's formed inside now my helmet it's possible to seal it really tight here but if you have a helmet that has more structure or it has an uneven surface in the front it might be harder to be able to get it to seal perfectly and that, therefore you have to have a helmet that is possible to uh, to do this with but uh, yeah i'm really satisfied with this uh, test and this hack so i can definitely recommend this to anyone who wants to avoid sweating their eyes while riding now if you like this video give it a good thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment how did you solve this problem do you have the problem and can i even do this even better so write a comment down below and i will see you in my next video cheers <laughs>